guys and welcome, welcome to the Nomad Outdoor Adventures and Travel Show. Yes, indeed. Look at that. We got a, we found another suspension bridge and it's up here in Manitoba. Yeah, look at that, eh? So we decided, you know what? I've seen this on Google before. I just never actually been down here. And it is not too far from Pinawa Dam, the Hydro Dam. So uh, my wife suggested we go there today and uh, maybe take some pictures. But uh, I said, you know what? Why don't we go check this out? And it's only a few miles down the road from there. So you guys know me and the suspension bridge. We like each <laughs> other, right? So uh, it's a beautiful weather today. Yeah, not too cold. Not too cold at all. So. Let's go check out that suspension bridge, guys. Looks like they got a little bit of a shelter up here. I've seen shelters like this before. I'm just gonna be really careful. It might be icy up here. There we go, yep, it is icy. So, looks like they got some sort of names on here. Probably representing something. Maybe the community. So there you guys can see on top there. Pinoa Suspension Bridge by a board sponsor. Oh, I see. So these are probably the sponsors' names that are on these uh, boards here. So let's go check out this suspension bridge, guys. It might just be super icy right here. The snow has been melting like crazy. We did have a decent amount of snow but a lot of the snow has already melted. Nice little bench right here. And lo and behold, I forgot my uh, camera uh, monopod stick to hold my phone in. We haven't been out in, uh, in nature in a little while, so uh, I guess I have to forget something, I guess. <laughs> So here we go. Ooh, this is quite steep down here. Good thing they got these pads down here so you don't slip as easily. Yikes, yeah. You see the whole bridge is already wobbling. Mm-hmm. So let's hope we don't fall in. I, mean, I can imagine this being really icy here whenever we've gotten some snow and stuff, but look at that. I don't know if it shows up on camera. Yeah, it does show up a little bit on camera, but that whole bridge is wobbling. Yeah, a little bit of a river or creek, whatever you want to call it. Looks like some animals have walked down there already. And as you guys can see it, uh, like that yellowish edge there, it's sort of melting. So not looking too good. Oh, I see somebody put a chair over there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, there you go. Right there on top of that rock. I guess just to sit there and enjoy nature, I suppose. Yeah, you never know. So let's go see if we can go to the other side and uh, check out this new area that we have discovered, right? So uh, I did bring my drone as well. I might take that up in the air and uh, maybe get a better view of the surrounding, right? So that way, maybe in the future, we can uh, potentially explore more areas. From what it's looking like on the map, uh, you can actually walk, I think about 15 kilometers that way. And I think there's like a lake or something up there. So, uh, we might have to uh, hike this area, maybe down the road one day, you know? Let's see if I can make it up here quite wobbly. <laughs> it's a fairly steep one too, like it doesn't look that bad, but when you actually walk on this, it is actually fairly steep. I'm just so glad they got those rubber pads right down there, screwed down. Gives you uh, a good amount of traction, eh? So here we go, made it to the other end. So now the wife can come down. There she is. I don't know if you guys can see that whole bridge, yeah? How oh, that thing is wobbling. Oh yeah? 
Uh huh. So we are on the other side and they have a little sign up here. Penawa Trail. The Great Trail. No, uh, no open fire. Leave only your footprints. Yes, indeed. It's just a little up and down and some spots are really slippery. So you got to kind of watch it. Luckily, my shoes have pretty good traction, but looks like the wife's boots are not so good. But yeah, a little bit of a trail. Obviously, people have walked here. It's just, I would be nicer if we had fresh snow down here and we could uh, get some better pictures and it wouldn't be quite a slippery either, I think, but oh well, we'll uh, go uh, walk this trail for a little bit. Looks like there's been some woodpeckers or something up here chipping away at this tree. Look at that. Probably getting ready to uh, build a nest in there or something. Yeah. So let's go see what else we can find. Maybe we can even see the woodpecker once in a while. Maybe he will come up somewhere. And I do have my telephoto lens on my camera right now. so. If we do see him, we can probably get a good picture of him, maybe. We came from down there, walked up this hill a little bit. I think this would be a really gorgeous area up here in the summertime going on this trail, eh? Yeah. I think so. That would be a very beautiful view. Uh-huh. There's a little bit of... Uh, open water right there yeah never know nice little swampy area up here it looks like but yeah we're definitely gonna have to walk this trail uh in the summertime now we know where it's at it might be really really beautiful up here during the summer it eh? might be ducks or all kinds of animals in there right so that'd be awesome mm -hmm. 